Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at Multicam inside Final Cut Pro 10. Multicam is the perfect technology. When you have multiple cameras all shooting the same event, whether it's a performance or a sporting event or a dramatic scene, and I want to show you how these work by creating three different Multicam examples today. There's a lot of cool stuff, especially with the new 10.06 release. Much that I want to show you. Let's get ourselves started. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. More than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth, all up-to-date, and all online, all for an incredibly low monthly price of $19.99. Plus, members can attend any of our live Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple, Adobe, and Autodesk software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. What I want to cover today is to introduce the concepts behind multicam editing, show you how to sync and edit three different multicam projects, a music video, a dramatic scene, and a slideshow. I'll show you how to use the Angle Viewer and the Angle Editor. I'll show you how to work with multi-channel audio, which is new with a 10.06 update to Final Cut Pro 10. This is a music video from a soon-to-be-released episode of Two Real Guys. It features Danielle and a piece of original music. I'm grateful to her for letting us use it. And we have three different cameras. So let's turn on skimming here. And this is the wide shot center camera. This is a side shot camera that picks her up coming in on the camera left side, and this is a camera right camera that picks her up on the camera right side. So this is our left camera, our center camera, and our right hand camera. To create a multicam clip, select the shots you want to build into a multicam clip, go up to the File menu, go down to New Multicam Clip. This opens up the multicam dialog, and let's just give this a name. We'll call this Music Video. We can assemble the clips. I like leaving this in automatic. At some point, I read the help files and understand what that means. I don't care. We have the ability to organize the clips. I always do this later. I never worry about it, so I'll just leave that set to automatic. But angle synchronization, I pay real close attention to. Synchronization is how we lock these three clips together. When do we have them start? The start point is the sync point. Now we have several options. When it's set to automatic, synchronization is achieved by having Final Cut 10 listen to the audio and sync based upon the audio waveforms. It works fine as long as there's audio on every camera. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be you know, reasonably close to perfect. And it takes some time. The good news is it works. The bad news is it takes a little bit of time as the Final Cut starts to work to figure out how the clips match up. If you have the ability to send timecode to all of your cameras, which is true for all higher-end cameras, not true for less expensive cameras, have a timecode generator on the set, feed timecode while the cameras hitting sync becomes trivial because we just match the timecode. As you can see here, timecode doesn't match. It doesn't even give me that option. You could match based upon content creation date and time of day, which is set inside the camera. I've never trusted this, mainly because I can never remember to set the date and time correctly. We'll skip over that. Start of the first clip is really useful when you've got no other sync point. We'll use this when we create the slideshow a little later in this presentation. And first marker is when you're using a clapper slate. We'll use that in the second presentation, the second multi-clip we put together today. In our case, I'm going to work with automatic because I do have audio on all three clips. And I turn on Use Audio for Synchronization. So the easiest way is the default. Set everything to automatic and let it synchronize based upon the audio on all the cameras. We're going to set the video based upon common clip properties because all these images are the same. And we'll use the default settings. The default settings changed in Final Cut 10.03. Before they were kind of a little weird, but since 10.03 the default settings are fine. I leave them alone and click OK. Final Cut hums and whistles for a few seconds as it tries to figure out how to get the clips to work and creates a new multicam clip. That's what this icon in the top left corner represents. That quad split icon is a multi-clip. When I click on it, notice that it instantly displays the multi-clip in the canvas on the far right, and we see the angles in the center. Actually, something really cool showed up. Let's just turn off the angles by going to the switch and hiding the angles. 
Okay, now I'm going to go up to the window menu and notice that we have a new viewer. It's called the event viewer. This showed up with the 1006 release. We can now have two viewers, one for clips in the event browser and one for clips in the timeline. When I turn on the event viewer, that's this right here, whatever clip I select in the event browser, I'm able to see in the event viewer. Well, here's the cool thing. If I go up to this switch and I say show angles, I can now go down to the multi-clip and I can preview the angles in the left-hand side and the clip in the event browser on the right-hand side. This gives me the chance, like in Final Cut 7, I've got the viewer and the canvas. This is the viewer. I can see the clip that I've got in the browser before I actually edit it down to the timeline. This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar looking at multi-camera editing inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store. Look for Webinar 85.